Our focus for today's class is the multiplication. of functions I'm sure you still know that we are discussing differentiation now in some textbooks you see product rule they are still the same thing okay is that a product rule or the multiplication of the functions under differentiation now, how do we go about this I'm going to first discuss it from the first principles let us say we have uh, a function y equals u v where u and v of course are functions of x to differentiate this we have the y the x is equal to u the v all over the x plus v the u over the x that is you pick the first term constant make it constant and differentiate the second term plus keep the second term constant and differentiate the first term this is just the formula for the product rule how do we come about this formula let me show you in the next slide we have y to be equal to u and v from the first principle we have y plus dy it's equal to u plus du multiplied by v plus dv that is the first step and the next thing is to open the bracket if i open the bracket i have y plus dy equals uv plus u dv plus v du plus du dv and taking y to the other side i have the y equals uv plus u dv plus v du plus du dv minus y what then is y from our initial equation we have y to be uv to continue with this i'll have the y equals uv plus u dv plus v du plus du dv minus uv since we have minus uv plus uv they can cancel out and we will be left with dy equals u dv plus v du plus du dv now this is where we are the next thing is to divide through by the by dx if we divide through by dx we have the y over the x equal to u dv over the x plus v du over the x plus du dv over the x now if we do this our next step from the first principle is to find the limit of the left hand side so we have lim the y over the x as the x tends to zero and of course note that as the x tends to zero the u tends to zero the v tends to zero so if we have this we have that and this of course when after getting the limit it will change to the y over the x which is equal to u dv over the x plus v du over the x where let me show you where this will tend to zero so of course if you consider what we have over here realize that it is the same thing as what we have over here so in a nutshell when we are asked to find the product rule what we are definitely asking you is to keep one term constant and differentiate the other and keep the other constant and differentiate the first in our next class we'll discuss examples 
on how to apply the product rule. So see you in our next class.